My name is Zachary Carroll. I am the co-writer and the artist for Square John. It was about a year ago today, actually. Um, I had to do a project for one of my classes uh, in college, and I approached David and Robert because they have this PhD company going on, and I wanted to do a commercial for them promoting them, and I just, you know, they, they kind of talked to me about future investments and ideas that they had in mind, and David had mentioned maybe doing cartoons at some point. And then about August of 2014, Robert had sent me his first draft of Square John, and I just instantly fell in love with these characters. I just loved how hilarious and how strange it was. They kind of had this idea in the back of their head that they wanted to, you know, experiment with it. And I just, I loved it because I'm very passionate about cartoons and animation and stuff like that. And that's something that I want to do when I fully grow up. He, he has some problems. He has that kind of life where his ex-wife, if you want to call her that, left him for the waiter for breadsticks. Just this sad man going through his life and kind of experiencing these strange situations that these characters put him in. Square Christmas is the idea that David came up with. So David pitched me this episode and I just, I don't know, something about the title alone was what made me want to be like, okay, let's do this. And it just came and turned into this huge event, this short film that we made of John experiencing probably the best and worst Christmas that he's ever had. And after we've gotten all through, you know, the work and stuff like that, it's finally coming out in March. And I just love that it's coming out in March because I really feel like it ties in with Square John's character and the tone of the show overall. What is happening in the show and why is there a Christmas special coming out in March? It's very simple, um, and that's something that I kind of pride myself in in all of my artwork. If you ever look at any of my drawings that I post on social media or whatever, they're all very, very simple looking, but they have this kind of level of detail to them about them that's like, oh, well, it's nice that they're also wearing like, you know, overalls and a nice bow tie or whatever. The relationship between the characters is very fun because while you have these very simple drawings, you also have this just very mature tone in storytelling, which is something that you don't normally see nowadays. And something that something about that mixture of elements is something that I really, really like. And John is a character that I think, while he started off as an experimentation for, you know, getting our feet wet in uh, animation, I feel like he's become much more of a character now. And he experiences more than just you know, being monotone. He has more feelings. And this world that we've sort of built in the Christmas special has really kind of developed with John and it started to like get the ball rolling and coming up with more ideas for side stories and more characters. We love Square John and we are going to keep promoting him as best as we can and eventually, you know, we'll be moving on to other material soon, hopefully. And you know, we have a, a YouTube channel full of two other shorts that David and Robert have worked on alongside myself. And we'd love if you get to look at those, but Square Your Christmas will come out this March. And it's just going to be so fantastic. It is a great short. It's very funny. Me and David had a blast writing it. And I, I loved drawing every frame in there. We put so much work and heart into this, just a three-man team creating this kind of massive amount of work for ourselves. Um, and it's something that I'm really looking forward to other people to, to, to seeing and I really, wanna, I really want them to see how much work we've put into Square John and I think it's something that uh, we would like to see feedback from and just kind of see what the audience has to say about it.